So, of course, the big business news of the past month has been the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, followed by a chill across the banking industry. So far, claim Signature Bank, Credit Suisse, and who else knows who by the time you hear about this. From a governance perspective, the usual where was the board questions are being asked. Uh, soon we'll have them in congressional hearings. And while everything sounds bad for SVB, there were aspects of their board's risk oversight that should make all of us rethink how boards monitor risk. Their risk committee consisted of seven directors, more than half the total board, and they met a whopping 18 times in 2022, and they had a best practice committee charter. This group had to be aware that trouble was brewing, and their workload suggests they took their role seriously. I don't mention this to prop up SVB's governance, but instead to raise a troubling point. Boards worldwide, even when they try hard, do a poor job of spotting and monitoring risk. Was there any board risk committee that met late in 2019 and anticipated that a global pandemic would upend so much of the world economy? At the end of 2022, how many of your risk committees weighed the impact of rising interest rates ripping through their business operations? The board of directors model does a lot of things poorly, and one of these is anticipating unknown risks facing companies. Aside from no one wanting to bring potential bad news to the board, the very nature of black swan risks is that they can rise anywhere, anytime. Your board and management simply cannot spot every potential danger. And if you tried, it would bog down your governance in endless detail, maybe even analysis paralysis. Further, many risks require opposing hedges. A uh, tight focus on avoiding investment losses brings the risk of missed business opportunities through overcaution. So to summarize, the board of directors overall and board risk committees specifically are just not designed to spot, assess, and protect against most risks facing the company. So how could we redesign them to do better? I'm Rolf Ward from the boardroom for April.